Hello, and we're back playing Sam and Max, Bright Side of the Moon. So we're just going to go right Turn to the on. moon. There we go. Which we can apparently drive to and from. Go right to Earth. I think I said to the moon. Hmm. Which we can apparently drive to. Oh, I like the lighting change. It looks all uh, moody. It is the night time. Uh, we'll go check our office because we didn't get to see what was in our cupboard from the last episode. I do find it interesting that we're giving our sort of presidential recorded speeches in like our sort of pokey office when we could be doing it the in reality goggles we used to destroy the, the white house which is now much all nicer those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what tv shows they like to watch <laughs> yes yeah, so we have the internet vr goggles i don't think there's much else that's different we've got a rug here which i quite like or it's the eagle clutching money and gas we'll see if there's any messages you for us Now I want to play the third message. The Prime Minister of Pitansatan has announced that you have once again dishonored his country and he demands satisfaction. You'll be waiting, pistol drawn, in the usual place. Hmm. Oh god. Uh, hello, uh, Sam? Uh, this is Dibble. I think I'm Frego, and you're the responsible party, Sam. Sybil must have a cold or something. No kidding! Did she say she thought she was a jar of spaghetti sauce? <laughs> what? The street seems quiet. Too quiet. There's a terrifying hubless moon. Television. Television. Anything? What color is your favorite dream? Page 24. Here's an oldie but a goodie. How many licks does it take to get to the center of your true bliss? Page 325. Emetics by Hugh Bliss. Read it today. <sighs> they're, that's, they're creepy. Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were going to vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, what? Is that like Mudshanks Big Brother? For treason, remember? They need to get that VCR to either the shop or the exorcist. Every time I pop in a tape, it demands a blood sacrifice. Probably the exorcist, then. Not sure why we can take the coat hanger, but well, I did notice know? it was there when Crucial we pinched it before. The Hudson River Merman Strangler case. I'll have to remember to file that once we're done with this case. Look at all the crap we've accumulated. Anyway, we've had a good look. Actually, check on Raw on the answering machine. I take it it won't have anything different. No, it's the same thing. Telling them that they can kill us or hurt us. So hard to get to. When uh, we hit the third message. And yeah, that was uh, references to the older games. It's very pink, it's pretty. Alright, left or right? We'll go right, I think, right now. <laughs> no. You see Jimmy Two Teeth here. Jimmy, what to no good as you? See, back up, Buzz. Get your own needed. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean we, White Rabbit? <laughs> what are you I doing there? For years. Just because it ain't white, that don't mean people don't put money in. It. It's like an HMO. Huh? That shop is still for sale. We've got. Here we go, Bosco's inconvenience. We can have a look at the Prison newspapers. Assistant. Destroy internet. Assistant? <laughs> You're his assistant. Reality 2.0. Up and coming new internet sensation. The newspapers are always a little behind in their technology coverage. They are. Actually, interestingly enough, while that one does say President and Assistant destroy internet, this one says new story links, links full moon to hypnotism. And the gumball machine? Well, Gumball machine actually. <laughs> <is a gumball. laughs> 
Who'd have thunk it? Here we hey, are. boss, oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. Your, your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. We, we know. We know. Why the sex Might change? Tell you how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? What? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. <laughs> you will after come I back. get through with you. But why your mother? Who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. How's life as a so, woman? How are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not going to lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Okay, what? You just cross the line, pal. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people There's to worry about right now. We want to buy something? We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? We don't have chores. Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. What have you got? What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, <laughs> why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. How much for the earthquake no, maker? Well, I'm Do sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. What? A hundred trillion? What? You crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep coming up the most ridiculous <laughs> price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, We've got us there. like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. Never, Never mind. mind. We can sell you, you something? Know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any copies of the uncensored 1982 Armana Santi lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh, well, that's the only thing I really So you want something on Betamax? We'll see you later, Mama Bosco. It's a pigsty. It is, actually. Let's have a look around what else we have in this place. Chimps. 80% chimps. Well, that's worrying. The hot java. That coffee takes me back to that time we were in France. Behind enemy lines, crawling through miles of neck-deep black sludge. <laughs> what was the name of that enemy I see what you did there. Jean-Luc. What's our sludge flavors? This week's flavors? Castor oil and Brussels sprouts. Oh. The latest in making stuff hot technology. Mm. Nachos. So tasty, you'll almost believe it's real food. <laughs> it's not real food. Never mind. I will should also go and see what's up with Sybil. Yep, still a garbage can. <laughs> Sorry, I pressed that by accident. Since uh, we know who Bosco is dressing up as this week, we'll see what job Sybil has as well. So we'll just click along. Past Jimmy Tooties. And our office. Right, so it's open. Well, liver and onions boxing. Liver and onions have been headed towards a nasty break for years. Oh, I see. Is that what they're getting for? So Sybil is now the queen? Hmm. Mm. 
and relax. Eh, hey, oh, for God's sake. Has she become the Queen of Canada? Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. Hmm. Queen of Canada? Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that <laughs> interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. Because you're so classy. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college and we spelled color with a U. If not how <laughs> That's because I would, that's how it's spelled royalty, with a... I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Aw, oh, no one wants to be the Queen of Canada. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This hmm. afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens <laughs> shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. It is Our pretty frightening. Our important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you spruce how up can Canada? You possibly spruce up Canada. It's a paradise year round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? <laughs> Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to see Civil later. later. See later. That later. sounds like something completely unrelated to what we're doing at the minute. Beer, eh? Oh, for God's sake. But uh, we're going to leave it there since we're out of time. We'll see you again next time.